Is Johnny Hughes is still with me. Johnny, maybe a quick bite on this before we mm. go back and hit the campaign. Trip. I think the Electoral Commission has settled that that's because the bone of contention was whether or not um, we we're going to strike it out if um, this disqualification had happened. Uh, mm. Philip Apiakubi was sure that he was going to be perhaps the, one of the first broadcasters who to have you know, gotten into the <laughs> fray to become candidate. a presidential candidate. But that didn't happen because there were some clerical errors. Remember that Bernard Mona of the PNC yeah. had also had some clerical errors and Madam Ekwia Donko, John Muhammad had cause to say that some people who were on there were not. Ekwia Donko said, well, I'm going to sue John Muhammad. Kofi Apalu and many others had come, but well, she's going to be with the Lord. Mm. Um, but largely and, and instructively, the Electoral Commission has been able to settle the dust. So now there's no ambiguity. Mm. Um, what what I will be interested in is the public education. We have 25 days to the big day, mm -hmm. right? Um, how much time and how, how much education could possibly be done? Right. Because voter education is the place of the National Committee of Education, yeah. but also a place for the Electoral Commission. And even the political and parties. And even the political parties as well. But these are the statutory or organizations institutions, or institutions yeah. that are mandated to do the public education. How well have they conducted them? Mm. And with 25 days to go for the big election, how much um, education can be done? How much is it going to cost uh, mm. the Ghanaian taxpayer? These are conversations that can be had. Um, could we have saved much more money if we had, for example, taken it back to the printer to say, black it out completely mm. so that mm. we do not see it at all, mm. so people get in there. And you look at the interesting uh, numbers for rejected ballots, for example. Rejected ballots have garnered more votes for want of a better expression, yeah. than all the minority parties put together. That's in fact, in the 2020 elections, they had about over 300,000 rejected ballots, mm. right, in the mm. last election. Mm. And that should tell us as a country that we need to do more. Okay. I mean, starting off in 1992, we were at some, about 3% or so. We, we, we improved 1.58, 1.59, mm. and then we dipped, and then we came back up 2.3, and then we dipped. And then as of 2020, we had over 300,000 of the rejected ballots. So we need to start asking ourselves the question, whether we are doing enough voter education right. and how this particular situation could compound the problem that, that we already have or reduce it whichever way. But I, in all, I think that it's been a good one. Yeah, and uh, clearly the EC, like Johnny indicated, has settled the issue. So we just wait to see what that means. Also, how quickly or soon will the Electoral Commission go back to the printing houses to give them the order to go ahead and start printing? What then happens to the earlier ones that have been printed? Are they going to now be discarded? And again, it raises the question of the cost to the Ghanaian taxpayer. But well, we'll see what all of that means in the coming days as the EC keeps engaging us to give us clarity on their preparation towards December 7.